Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Are you ready? Oh, well, good. Thanks. And you, teacher? Ready. I'm fine, thanks. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ana Beatriz. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Wendy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening.
Okay, we are ready. Let me see. I got 16. We are close to the star. Welcome back again. It is a pleasure to see you. And I would like to hear you. How do you feel today in order to test your microphone and be sure that at the moment that you are going to talk, uh, I'm going to hear you in the right way, okay? Okay, Jose Galileo, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Thank you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I like that. Thank you. I I appreciate I appreciate so much your advice. Okay. Last night. Okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome, sir. As I told you at the beginning, I'm here to help you. If you consider that my, my advice are in the right way, okay? And you take it? Okay, is that good? I got it, thank you. Okay. How do you feel today? Just tell me. <clears throat> Okay, in my case, I am. I feel great. I can't complain. Okay, nice. God, God give me the life. Okay. So I am glad with my God. Okay. Excellent. And the only way that we have in, uh, to communicate with. Uh, he is just praying, you know? And that way we can talk with him when we pray to God. Yes, we can pray every time in every place too. Yes, not only in bad moments, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm still waiting. I have to spend more than teacher. Uh, hello, Wendy. Hello. Okay. Sorry, teacher. For yesterday, I was very stressful and I speak bad about you. Really? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry so much. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. For that reason, uh, when I'm explaining something, uh, I ask you if, uh, if you have a question in order that you can ask the question or something that maybe you don't understand. And you are in the right way in order to ask me questions. Don't worry about it. Yes. Hold on a second. Here we go. Today we are going to clarify some term that maybe you have some those talking about the vocabulary and the, the seven methods in order to evaluate a new product before launch it. Don't worry about it.
Okay, here we go. I got it here. Good evening, who is coming? Yes, teacher. Okay, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting, I've been waiting. I got 17 now. I need to have at least 20, you know. But we are going to start. Welcome, Carlos Escobar. Glad to see you again. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Oh, good evening, sir. Let me see in the chat I got. May I ask you something? Who is it? Okay. Galileo wants to ask me a question. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead, sir. Tell me. Uh, about task uh, one period five. Um, talking, talking about the activity that we, you have in the platform, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, about reduce the adverb clauses to adverb phrases. Phrases. Uh, other phrases. I I don't understand. Ah, oh, oh, okay. I, I, I miss your class about it, but I look at for this topic in in, in Google, and I understand the topic, but I don't um, seek, uh, I don't found any words to replace uh, the adverb to adverb phrases. Okay. I don't understand what I can resolve this task one for period five. 1.5, okay? Okay. 1.5 in the platform. Yeah. Okay. Okay, don't worry, I'm going to to rain for the I am, topic. I am copying. I am copying the the text in the task in your chat, private okay. chat. Read the same in below, reduce the adverb close to other phrases. Okay. As soon as I check it, uh, today I'm going to give you an extra information in order that you can resolve it in the right way. Don't worry about it. Okay, thank you. I already got in my agenda in order to give you a hand with that, okay? But before I need to take the attendance because I've been waiting for you more than 10 minutes. I know that sometimes you have some problems because of the traffic and different situation that you have, okay? Ana Beatriz Campos. Present teacher. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Welcome. Uh, Bautista. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, sir. Escobar. Present. Eh, Raquel Hernández. Present. Eh, Francis. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Claudia. Uh, yeah, yeah, I already called you. Okay. Francis. Francis. Galileo is there, okay. Okay. Um, Jonathan. Present. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. Lorena Beatriz Humansor. Sorry, 
She didn't show up any time. No apareció, no apareció. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Veralice. Miguel Ángel Mendoza. No. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay. Santos Misael Cañas. Present teacher. Eh, Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Diego, Diego, Diego. Present teacher. Ahí está Diego, sí, ahí está. Brian Javier. And here, teacher. Ahí está también Diego, sí. Brian. Only is missing. Ok, Miguel Ángel, uh, Mayra, eh, who else? Lorena Beatriz. Let me see, who else? Juan Carlos, is there? Juan Carlos Rivas. Rodrigo, no. Galileo, is there? Eh, Francis, is missing. Okay, I hope that they can join later on in order that get the right information in order to resolve some exercises. Okay, let me see. Before to start with the topic, I need to take a look at the exercise 1.5 in order to be sure about the reduced adverb close of time. I guess that that is the one that Galileo is talking about. Is that true, Galileo? Yeah, it's true. Okay. Okay, Galileo. I recommend you that you study the page number, page number, let me see the number of the page is 15. On page 15, you are going to find out the explanation that you need. And also in the video, you can have an, another uh, explanation. Take a look uh, of exercise number four, other, other clothes introduced by before, after, seen in a while, can be reduced to modify other phrases. And we have other clothes right here. After we conduct the SWOT analysis, we will now know whether to go on or stop with this project. And then we are going to switch into other phrase. After conducting a SWAP analysis, if you can see the difference from the first one, 1A and 1B, what is the difference that you can see? Eliminate uh, subject and add ING at the verb. Okay. Okay, Galileo, uh, you need to take into account that right here, uh, we uh, eliminate the pronouns and we are going to read this part in order that 
Then I see something is going on here. I don't know why. I don't know why, how, oh, okay, I got it here. Okay, take a look at this. To, to reduce an adverb close to a phrase, do the following. You need to take into account only just these three characteristics. Eliminate the subject in both adverb. That is the third one. The second one said, if the close has a form of the B or the verb B, you need to eliminate it. And if the close has any other verb different from B, you are going to add H and G. In this case, what we need to do is just to eliminate we. Yep. And we are going to say after and we are uh, conducting, we are going to add I and G to the verb. After conducting swap analysis, we will know whether to go or to stop with this prior. You uh, I recommend you that try to take into account these three different aspects and take a look at the example that we have here. And then if it is not clear for you, just let me know and I can give you an extra explanation. Okay? I, I got it. This, this, uh, this page is clear to me. I got it. Thank you. Okay. And also you have some exercises. You yeah, can yeah. resolve it and send it to me and I can check it. And I'm going to tell you if it is right or not. Yeah. I and got later, it. And later on, you can explain, uh, you can resolve. I'm sorry. You can resolve um, the exercises in the platform. Thank you, Thank you very much. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> okay, I remember we were talking about this. And Wendy told me something about this. Where I can get more information, she told me. Okay. When we talk about this term, right here we have just a brief explanation about this uh, seven type of tests in order to um, evaluate a, or, or test a problem, if we can say in that way. And suddenly maybe some of you uh, try to look for information maybe in Google or in different places. But maybe uh, sometimes it's really difficult to get an exact information that explain how we are going to use it because we are not related maybe with marketing or with something different. And I remember that we resolved it and, and I, I told you that we need to talk more about it. And today is gonna be that day in order that we can talk about it. Um, I don't know if you remember that you have it in the right way that I have it here. And it is just in order that you can have an idea, right? Because when we talk about sight and handling, handling tests, what is sight and what is handling? That is the main point here. What can you tell me about it? What is sight? Verificar. You can see it. But talking about a product, what is sight? I'm going to stop chatting. I need to see your faces. What is sight? Something that has to be with a product. Try to do it this way. Suddenly, when we go to supermarket, we uh, take a look at all the products that are in, in, in the supermarket. And suddenly, there is something that calls your attention. Why? Because of the colors or the ah, OK, 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 Santos, tell me. Because of the color, what else? The brand. The Okay, I'm sorry, Santos, I can hear you very well. The, the design, the and word. The design, okay. The okay. 
Okay, everything that you are mentioning has to be with sign. Okay. Do you understand that? Diego wants to say something else, I guess. The brand. Uh, yeah, had to be, but but in this case, because oh, later la later on we are going to talk about brand, but in this case, just focus our attention inside what you perceive by your eyes as, as the moment that you see something. When you go to a restaurant and you see what they have, there is something that calls your attention the way that they have it. Yeah? And at the moment that they create a new dish, they do it in order to call your attention. And maybe it is something that you never had tried and because of the side, you are going to decide to test it. Do you know what I'm saying? Hello? No entendí lo último, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to tell you in a... Or somebody that can help pin maybe in the world of your classmate is gonna be clear. What I'm saying, what I'm trying to explain is the relation that the word side has with the product. Is that correct? Okay. Okay. And I told you, when you go to a restaurant and you can see all the food that they have, Suddenly, you see something that caught your attention, and maybe you had never tried it. Cuando llega a un restaurante y comienza a observar todo lo que ellos tienen, sí, estamos hablando de un lugar que sea, uh, could be a buffet or, or in a different way, like here in El Salvador que vas a un restaurante y ellos tienen la comida a la vista. ¿Ya? Yeah? That you can see what they have. In the middle of all the product, en medio de todo lo que ellos tienen ahí, you see something that caught your attention. Maybe because the color, the shape, or another feature. ¿Ya? Yeah? And maybe yeah. you ask the waitress and, and say, what is that? And the lady or the man tell you the name. And you say, okay, because of the color, because of the shape, uh, call my attention, I'm going to try it. Is that true? It's true, teacher. Ah, okay. That has to be with sight. Sight. Okay, related to, to a product. I don't know. I would like to hear that somebody can give you, uh, can give me another example about sight related with the product. Some example. How can you tell me another example? Teacher, for, okay. ex for, for example, when I go to the supermarket, sometimes I don't want to buy fruit. Okay. But, but, the fruit department uh, is near to the, the enter of the supermarket. So when, when, when I go for the hall in front of the fruits, I saw apple, for example, or grapes, for example, and they look uh, Appetitosa. Okay. And I can see it and I buy this fruit because I, they, uh, they, they appearance, appearance uh, look really good. Okay. The, uh, the fruit tempting to buy it. Okay. They, they tend to buy it. Okay, it's a good example, but we are talking just about sight, not about handling now. Okay, somebody wants to give me another example about it. Teacher in, in bakery? 
Okay. Bakery, okay. Or cake, or bread. Okay. Me, me, I see the color is look appetizing and the price. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hello. Maybe it is when I when when I um, analyze something. Okay. Could be also. Okay, uh, we already talked about site. What, what about handling? What is that? That you can touch it. Ah, okay. And there, and, will you give and... me some words that are related with handling? Feel it? <laughs> okay, I, I need that you give me some example. But let me give you one first. If I want to buy a new computer, first of all, I go sizing, okay? I go to different places, but at the same time, I take into account the shape and the size that I needed in order to take it with me to my job. And that way, I'm going to consider the dimension that I need to buy because I need to handle it. I'm not going to buy a big one that is going to be difficult for me to take it to my job, you know? That is a very clear example, but I don't know if you got what I said. Now, excuse me, Wendy. No, uh, I, I went uh, market or supermarket. I touch the fruit and vegetables. Okay. For example. Oh no. Yeah, could be, but uh, in this case, it's other thing. Yeah, in this case, we are talking about, for example, if I got this mouse here, at the moment that I buy it, I say, okay, it is, it is gonna be comfortable for me to have it, to put my hand here. It is heavy, it is light, because I need to carry on in my briefcase. I'm talking about handling, okay? Okay. Or for example, um, how can I say it? I used to buy a lot of electronic diet when I uh, travel to another country. Rodrigo is there. And when we travel, I'm going to tell you that, imagine that you are going to the United States on Christmas and you need to buy a different diet, like a camera, like a computer, and I don't know what else. At the moment that you are going to buy any product like this, you are going to take into account the shape and even the weight in order that, is, that may easy to, to bring it to El Salvador. That uh, does mean that you are taking into account the handling. And if you are going to buy something that is going to be bigger that, that your Levels, you say no. I can I can take it because it is bigger, and, and they are going to charge me extra in order to take it to El Salvador, and so on. I don't know if you understand what I'm telling you, but just tell me if you don't catch what I'm saying. Just tell me, because what I'm trying to explain you all the concept, but using real examples. And I guess that is gonna be better. I already got some uh, information in the slices that we are going to read it later on. But before we read it, I would like to explain it that way because I guess it's gonna be better because in the slices, 
Maybe I have some technical work that sometimes uh, tend to be difficult for you, but we are going to read it later on. But I would like to hear another example. I don't know if somebody wants to tell me something about it, about handling. Hello? Only one. Only one, please, only one. Could be a could be could be a sample for uh, when in a store we receive some raw material. For example, uh, different cases uh, with with products. With different cases with different products, we receive raw material, and maybe if we don't have careful, we can break it. Yes, and also in the uh, sometime in the box it said handle with care. Have you yes. seen? Exactly. Okay. Okay. But I need an, uh, another example. And I need that all of you participate. Later on, we are going to read something that I have there, the information, because we need okay. to clarify all this term. But let me know yeah. if, if suddenly you don't understand what I'm saying, but I, uh, what I, I am explaining to you. Somebody wants to tell something? Let me see. Uh, teacher, uh, for the branch, um, and the computer, a printer. Okay, but you are, you already are talking about brand. That is another issue. I know that is part of the suddenly a test that we are going to make a product. But in this case, still we are talking about handling. Imagine that you want to buy a car. Okay, I'm going to explain this in this way. Imagine that you want to buy a car. The first thing that you need to do is just uh, to see the space that you have in your garage in order to know if the car that you want to buy is gonna be fit there. Yes. Later on, of course, you are going to look for the money that you have according to the price of the car that you, try, you, that you are trying to get it, right? But what happens if you buy a big one car and suddenly at the moment that you want to close the door, it's gonna be impossible. That means that it's not going to be handled. I don't know if you, do you know what I mean? Yes. yes okay, teacher. now try to tell me, try to give me another example in order to be sure that you are understanding what I'm saying. Real examples. Hello. Si no me están comprendiendo, por favor, levanten su mano, teacher. Eso que acaba de decir, no lo comprendí. Could you tell me in another word, please? And I'm going to tell you. But I need that you interact. Teacher, examples, examples in the customer touch the product is a handle, product. Mm. Maybe it's not. Touch or hand. Maybe uh, it is not related with touch. How can I give but you another? Touch. Handle, ma manejar, or oh, oh. uh -huh. usar, algo así. Yeah, all, all the pen, you can find it different minutes. But in this case, for example, I'm going to give you another example. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Of course, that I don't want to make any propaganda about the Apple, okay? Imagine I got this cell phone. Uh, okay, and you say, okay, I'm not going to buy that cell phone because it's really big. And I need to put it in my pocket 
and my pockets are small, that means I'm not going to handle it. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to tell you. But in my case, in this size, it handled to me because I can watch movies, I can see everything I want to watch it, um, different option. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. En español y a colores. El handle se refiere a cómo yo voy a manejar esto. ¿Sí? Alguien puede decir, no, ese teléfono es muy grande, no me cabe en, la, en donde yo lo voy a andar. Ah, entonces usted tomó en cuenta el handle y entonces dice, no, no se adapta a lo que yo, no, yo quiero uno más pequeño. ¿Ya? ¿Got it? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. But, okay, give me some examples. Teacher, like when you go to buy a bicycle. No. Okay. You need to um, verify the size of ah. the bicycle. Or the ring. Of the ring. Este, según lo que uno va a, 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 para lo que uno la va a utilizar. Okay. Si es para montaña o, o, o para carretera y así. Entonces, okay. Un ejemplo. Okay. And also, if you are going to buy a bicycle to a kid, you need to see that the bicycle be at the side of your kid, right? Because if, if, if the bicycle is uh, small and he is tall, he's not going to fit there. Ahora sí creo que ya me están comprendiendo. See? ¿Sí? Who say yes? Who say yes? yes? Yes, teacher. Los demás no dicen yes, solo están calladitos. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, ok. I'm going to show you something. Porque no quieren hablar, solo a mí me toca, entonces no es así. I want to hear you. Remember that what I want is that you develop the speaking skills. That is the main purpose here. And I know that you have some ideas and good example, but I need that you share it with me. Other example is television teacher. Ah, nice example. Okay, tell me. Uh, bedroom or sala? Bedroom, no. Sala? Okay. Oh, cuarto. Well, bedroom or the living room. Space. The, the rest living room. room. Yes, living room is small, and the television is big. Okay. No, it, it doesn't it, fit it, the space. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let us continue, and we are going to read a little bit something here that I got it in order that you can have more ideas. Hold on a second. Teacher. Hello, sir, tell me. Maybe the, the shoes. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, tell us uh, about the shoes. And even and that is a, another good example. Okay, I'm going to let you explain. And later on, I'm going to add something. Tell us. Díganos sobre los zapatos. Explain. Uh, maybe uh, I need for the war or I need for the run. Okay. For example. Mm -hmm. Okay. And talking about ladies, imagine this. That, uh, let me see, Zaira. The Zaira need to have, a, need to get a new pair of shoes. And uh, her husband, as a present, give her a high heel shoes. Do you know what is high heel shoes, right? And, and when, when she get it, she said, no, I can handle it. I never had used it, only just flat, flat. Me comprenden? Hello. 
Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, sir. yes, teacher. yes teacher. Imagínese que el, el esposo le lleva ahí y dice, le voy a quedar bien con Zaira. Le voy a llevar eh, este par de zapatos. Y se los consigue eh, de tacón alto. ¿Sí? Diferentes pulgadas. Puede ser de five. I don't know. When, when, cuando ella los mira, ella dice, no, si es que yo nunca he usado tacones altos. No los voy a poder manejar. ¿Sí? Yes, my favorite. Es, yeah, yeah, yeah. Es un ejemplo. Es just an example. <laughs> Just an example. I know that most of you can handle this. Yes? Okay. No, ya no les doy ejemplos usando sus nombres porque se me, se me molestan. Y dicen, no, si yo los puedo usar. Okay. Let us talk about product testing method in market research. Uh, we are going to read this concept first. Okay, whether you are testing a new product, packaging's idea, creative design, or any other type of stimulus, you have probably been conflicted with which testing method is best. As in most research ventures, the optimal solution will vary based on the number of concepts you are testing, your budget and your research objective. There are many product testing design variation to address your unique situation. Who want to tell me in your own words the, the main idea about this? Paragraph. What is the meaning? Hello? Hello? Are you ready? Hello? Are you reading, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, take your time. Take your time. Don't worry about it. Okay, who wants to tell me? What do you understand about the paragraph? What is the main idea here? To create a new product, we need to make one or more testing that's mm -hmm. included packaging design uh, or or another thing okay uh, and what where... comes okay okay hold on hold on and what comes to your mind when you see the word packaging and creative design what method what test, what kind of steps comes to your mind when you see packaging and creative design? ¿Qué test se les viene, se les viene a la mente cuando ven packaging and creative design? De los seven that we have, which one do you consider that is related with that? Maybe I think that is branding test. Branding really? test. 
no, the, but, but, but talking about the one that we have in the in the book, we have seven, right? Psych mm -hmm. and handling uh, test. Uh, <laughs> I like that that you that you are in, in, in you are directly to the to point. Okay, okay. That in that way is that we need to go. Okay. What else? Somebody else wants to tell me something. Right. Because it is not just to read, I we need to analyze. We need to recognize the main ideas in a paragraph. And remember, we are talking about new product. And also, uh, we have something here. You have probably been conflicted with which best method is best in order to evaluate something. As in most research ventures, the optimal solution will vary based on the number of, of concepts you are testing that you can include your budget and your research objectives. What is that? Tell me. Hello? What's the meaning muestras? What's the meaning of what? Muestras. Let, let me see, what is it? How, how, how do you pronounce it? Como el muestrario o muestra que, what's the meaning? I'm trying to look in the, in the, it is on the, on, in, on the paragraph, the word that you are telling me? No. Oh, you are asking me. Yes. Ah, you are asking me a question. Yes. Ah, okay. You are talking about uh, samples. Samples. Yeah, sometimes we, we, we can call it in that way. Samples. samples. Yeah. Um, yes. A new product. Um, and that, that and also and also uh, in some places places they call it the new release. Yes. Lo más nuevo que ha llegado. Sí. A yes. Eso, a eso se refiere, cierto. Yes. Okay. Okay. The new release. La última, lo último en la tecnología, por ejemplo. We got the iPhone iPhone thirteen. They, they they told us because you are looking for the news okay teacher hello sir um i understand that the main idea of the paragraph is that the testing method for a new product depends on the number of qualities or aspects that we have to consider for this product. Okay. I guess. Excellent. Yeah, all depend. All depend on the concept you are testing. That could be uh, your budget and something else. And what is that? What is this? Presupuesto. Okay. The money for invest. Invested. Yes, yes. Imagine that you want to buy a house. You need to know what is your budget in order to look for. And also we have here that there are many product testing design variation to address your unique situation. Okay. If you have doubts about something, just let me know, please, because... Okay, let us start talking about the pair comparison. Somebody wants to read it? Only one, please. Me teacher. Me teacher. 
Ok. Ok, ¿quién dijo primero? Diego. El que diga primero ese va. Me the okay. next teacher. Ah, ok. Lady. Lady first, lady first. Ok. okay. <laughs> es pay comparison. Each respond, try to product and then answer one sor sorbi. 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 Which includes question asking the respondent to compare the two products. Okay, pair comparison. Each respondent tries to product and then answer one survey. Which include question asking the respondent to compare the two products. What do you understand about that? and can give me some example about it. <clears throat> First, you need to know the meaning of the word resplendent, right? Resplendent. You need to know what is the meaning of this word, resplendent. What is that? I want to hear you. Is the person um, a la quien le a quien hace la pregunta? Okay. In another words, el encuestado. El encuestado. Okay. Cada encuestado try to product and then answer one survey, which include question asking the respond to compare. The two product, okay. Tell me. Tell me. <clears throat> For example, he is a seguro the two marks. Okay. Could you tell me some some question that we can include in the survey? The, um, the question could be um, around the flavors. Ah, okay. So, uh, it stays, uh, which one tastes better? Okay. Which one smell really good? Golf. Even though that in French, they have like a one different kind for each day of the year. Have you heard that? And the most expensive cheese that they have is the one that smell really bad. Have you heard it? Yes. No? No? Ok, en español, en Francia ellos tienen una clase de queso para cada día y son más caros aquellos que entre, entre más feo huelen, son más caros. Por ejemplo, feta. Sí, feta. Ok, but tell me, tell me, somebody else, tell me. Tell me and give me an example about pair comparison, please. I need that you participate. I know that you understand what we are talking about. I think that uh, one example is um, eh, pollo campero y don pollo. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Tell me. It's a uh, maybe flavor. Okay. Or... Maybe it's um, fresh. And crunch okay. and crunch too. Uh-huh. They are crunchy or not. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm sorry mm. too. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, continue, continue. And I need to check up later on uh, the, the attendance. Okay, continue, don't worry. Maybe could be uh, uh, spices. 
Ah, ok, ok. Ah, okay. Tengo... O spices. more, more fat, grasa, no sé, fat. Ok. Mm, that's it. That means that uh, there you can apply the side, how it look like. If it is look attractive and something like that, okay? Okay, let me check up the, the attendance and later on we are going to continue talking. Let me share, I guess I, I got something in the chat. Estaré oyente unos minutos porque haré algo en mi trabajo, okay? Okay. Somebody else wrote something. Estaré un poco porque estoy en una reunión de trabajo, pero estaré conectado. Okay, okay. And somebody else. Okay. I got it. Okay, think, think about it. At, uh, and let me check the attendance, please. Hay algunos que no los he oído hablar hoy. No sé, no sé qué les está pasando. I need that all of you participate. I know that you have good ideas about the topic. And in the way that you participate, you are going to understand better. Because sometimes uh, when we ask a read, sometimes it's difficult to comprehend everything, right? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it here. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Carlos Alberto. Present. Escobar. Present. Raquel. Present. Um, Francis. Francis Galileo. Present, sir. Jonathan. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Rivas Jovel. Present, teacher. Okay. Ya recuperamos uno. Eh, Laura. Present teacher. Lorena Beatriz. Lorena Beatriz no me ha conectado ni una vez. No, no la conozco. María Concepción. Present. Ah, María Elena. Present teacher. Um, Mayra. Mayra Veraliz, no. Miguel Ángel, no. Zaira. Present teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Eh, let me see. Yesenia. Yesenia. Present teacher, present. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian. Present teacher. And now we can continue with the uh, example about Pollo Campero and Pollo Campero, eh, Pollo, I guess. Okay, who wants to continue talking about this? Remember that I, I already told you, if you give more example, it's gonna be better because in that way you are going to call your classmate to understand what we are talking about. If you want to participate, yeah, write your hand and tell me, let me know what you are thinking about it. Okay. Teacher. Hello, sir. It's like when you go to the bread factory and try two different breads, they oh. ask uh, which is the best. Um, they ask which one has better texture and taste. Okay. I got you. I got your point. 
But I'm gonna give you another example. Imagine that uh, somebody in your family is going to, uh, you are going to celebrate birthday, okay? And you need to buy a cake. And you Chair. say, okay, tell me, Saira. Can be different company, companies. Okay, okay explain me. Um, maybe Coca-Cola, Pepsi. Okay, okay. If you compare Coca-Cola and Pepsi, what can you tell me about it? What you are going to take into account in order, in order to compare it? Based on the information that we have, that we have read. The flavor. Okay, what else? The color. Okay, but something special that you have forgotten? Algo especial que han olvidado? What is that? In the prestige. Price. Ah, okay, talking about price. Okay. Another example, please, another example. The one that, uh, that just stay watching and they don't want to participate, you can it do hurts. it now. Uh, can be used in, in politics, for example, when consulting for a candidate for a chart? Mm, well, we are, we are comparing. And that way you can compare to candidate. But in this case, remember that um, it is something a kind of different because- uh, Product. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but uh, uh, in the end, you are going to choose one. But sometimes right here is kind of difficult because if you belong to a different line, you are going to say, no, that one is not good because this one is the good because belong to my team and mm -hmm. so on. And, and that way it's gonna be difficult. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay, somebody else want to tell me something about it? No? T-shirt and the internet service. Ah, in okay. Some place. <laughs> talk, talk, talking about Claro and Tigo. Yes. Um, oh, okay. And, uh, telephonic and Movistar. Ah, okay. It's on the nuclear and uh, antenna and the place. Uh, no, no much and eh, antenas. No sé cómo se dice antena, teacher. Pero como que no hay muchas antenas, entonces no agarra bien de una o de otra compañía. Yeah, but, but maybe uh, sometimes it's not exactly that. Because in the place where I work, I have one clause and that's not mean that I have a good service. It is something uh, more complicated, I guess. It is, uh, the worst is antenna in that way, but I don't know, technical way, I don't know how to, how do they call it. Yeah, because when you, when you see the photos, uh, a card or something, you can find out the word antenna, but in that, in that cases, I don't know if they, they have a technical word. How do they, they say it? I don't remember now. I'm going to look at it. Okay, if you don't have any uh, comments, let us continue then. I need that you speak. Remember, you need to speak, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the one that somebody asked me a couple of days ago. Menadic testing typically is the best method. 
ah, okay, and I forgot to ask you to read the previous one because I need that you read it too. And that way you are going to develop your skill in reading too. But let us read this one. Manatic testing, typically is the best method. Testing a product on its own offer many advantages. Interaction between products, which occur in a pair, pair comparison test is eliminated. The magnetic test simulates real life. That's the way we usually use products one at a time. By focusing the respondent's attention, we already talked about what is the meaning of respondent, right? Respondent, attention upon one product. The magnetic test provides the most accurate and actionable diagnostic, diagnostic information. Okay, let us stop there because then we are going to add extra information. Read it and tell me what do you understand about magnetic testing? I invite you to read it by yourself. If you want, I can continue reading and later on you can tell me. Additionally, the magnetic design permits the use of normative data and the development of norm and action standards. Virtually all products can be tested. Monadically, whereas many cannot be accurately tested in pair comparison design, for example, a product with a very strong flavor, sometimes could be hot pepper, alcohol, and etc., may destin or inhibit the taste. But so that the respondent cannot really taste the second product. Okay, read it and try to analyze it and understand it. And then later on, tell me what do you think about magnetic testing? I'm going to give you some time in order that you can read it. Just let me ask, as soon as you finish, please. Hola, hello, teacher. Hello, Maria. For this method, I remember um, last year, no sé cómo se dice, pero el nombre de la persona que promueve el producto. 
Se formó un producto. Eh, digamos, en el super le llaman impulsadoras, pero, pero ese es el, esa es la labor de, de impulsar o promover un producto. It is display. Display. But in this case, in she not in a super or market. Uh, she called me and me, uh, me pidió que probara unos productos bingo. She asked me to taste, she asked me to, to asked taste. Me to taste a uh, product bingo. And I am remember this. And I am thinking is, is this when I test because I am testing this product, only this product. Oh, okay. She called me and um, answered many, many questions. Oh, okay. I am thinking of this. Okay, okay. Excellent. You refresh your memory and remember the situation that happened to you, okay? Okay, excellent. Somebody else, somebody else wants to tell me something, or I don't know if somebody wants to read it in order to practice, just let me know. I can see your, your, if you raise your hand, just tell me, teacher, I am, and you tell me your name, and I would like to read it, or, or I would like to comment something about this method. Just let me know, please. Hello. If you want, you can uh, make a screenshot. Pueden hacer una toma, una captura, because um, I need to see your face, and I don't see it. Only just a few I can see it. Okay, who wants to say something about this? Come on, guys, I know that you are able to do it. You can give me also another example. Hello. Teacher, maybe or could be a pizza, for example, two different brands of pizza. Okay. Uh, could be, or, or could have different flavor. Different taste, different flavor, different smell, and also different uh, presentation. Yeah. Different gradients, for example. Yeah, everything has to to be with the product, okay? Okay, thank you, Galileo. Somebody else, please? Los que no han participado, sigo esperando su participación. Teacher. Yesenia, please Who, uh, I think that could be um, when cuando lanzan a Parfum en, y bueno, lo decía en español, okay. este, cuando lanzan un perfume, digamos, y dan muestras así a varias personas y depende si le gusta, si es muy fuerte, si es muy, o sea, si es muy dulce, si es muy, si dura bastante, yo pienso, ¿verdad? No sé. Ok, ok. And we, uh, we take into account the example that we have here, the product with a very strong flavor or a smell, because maybe suddenly you don't like, uh, like, um, how can I tell you, a smooth, smooth uh, smell, for example. Okay, somebody else want to say something about this? Sure. Hello. In, in this case, the monadic testing, uh, 
would be when when I buy a shoes and I check uh, the size, I check if leather, I check uh, the design, etc. And I choose one of two of three pairs. You have mute your microphone, teacher. My goodness, my goodness. Okay, thank you. Somebody will want to add something? Just let me know, please. If you don't want to talk, okay, let us continue then. I got more information about this. Let me move a little bit this because, okay, we have also advantages about, we are talking now about sequential magnetic design, small sample size. Sequential magnetic survey design can test on a small sample size. Respondent are shown several concepts which made it possible for them to respond to multiple concepts that could be cost effective. The smaller sample size makes the testing more affordable with lazy respondents. It is easier to collect responses, thus decrease the investment in SRV and also less time required. It also helps that it stay less time to complete the task. Responses are collected in less time with a small sample size. That is called a sequential magnetic design. I don't know uh, if you have received a call from a different company and say, okay, this is a therapy about the service that you are getting with us. Please stay in the line. And we are going to ask you some question about the service that we are supplying to you. Have you heard that? Yes, teacher. Okay. Or maybe cost of security, this call, it has been record. And I say, I'm recording too. Okay. What can you tell me about the advantages? Any comment? For example, there is there an idea that says the smaller sample size makes uh, the testing more affordable. Okay, excellent. That is really important. That means that it's better to ask 10 questions that ask 40. But you need to be, you need to go directly to the point that you want to research. Okay, los que no me han participado, por favor, en las siguientes láminas o en los siguientes métodos de evaluación de los productos, espero oírles. Because uh, I, I want you to have a clear idea about this, okay? Okay, what about this? We have some example here. Who wants to read it? I need that somebody read it. Volunteer, de los que no han participado, por favor. Alguien que quiera leer. I have to say it in Spanish. Because maybe somebody said, no, no sé qué dijo. Uh, me? Claudia. Okay, well, example. Say you have a successful pizza business in your district. You discover a new cheese introduced in the market. The price is half of what you usually purchase and the quality appears to be the same. 
However, you want to make sure that the quality of your pizzas is not compromised because of the cheese. So you decide to test it in order to not disappoint your target consumers with the new cheese. Okay. Somebody want to explain it in your own words? Alguien que me lo explique en sus propias palabras. Only one, please. When we in, in the in the pizza case, in this case, when we need to change one ingredient, okay, we need to know the the customer don't. Feel complain. The customer okay, uh, don't complain. Reject. Okay. Complain. And the customer no perceive el cambio. Don't feel the change. Okay, okay. That no. is the that is remain the, the quality. Okay, excellent. It is like when you go to McDonald's here in El Salvador, and suddenly you have the chance to go to another country like United States or Canada, and you buy McDonald's and you say, oh, this one tastes in a different way. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That is the reason why some franchise, franchise okay, have the it. same have the same ingredients in okay. in other countries yes but uh by the way talking about that i, I used to buy papa john pizza in the united states at the moment that i saw the third one here in el salvador and i went it i went there and buy it and believe me uh i didn't feel it the same like that I used to buy there, even though that they got the same ingredient. And the next month, I bought one pizza in a place, and one week later, I bought another one in another place, talking about the same branch, and it doesn't uh, taste the same. Maybe, because uh, they didn't use the same amounts of ingredients. Maybe could be the reason. But at the moment that I started uh, eating, I said, no, this one is not, is not the same like the one that I taste before. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, when you talk yeah. about, when you talk about Papa John's pizza. Okay. Um, the reason why you feel the same probe in, in different places is because Papa John's Pizza have one warehouse, okay. one distributor to all markets in different countries. Okay, okay. It's the same ingredient, ingredient and the same formula to make the the, the dough uh, is used in all countries. Okay. I work in Papa John's Pizza right okay. now. Oh, okay, really? Okay. Yeah, but, but I'm, what I'm saying is that uh, I've been testing in a different different countries and and I, I don't feel it the same. Maybe, ah, you, you don't maybe, feel the same. yeah, 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 I don't feel it the same, because if I taste one in the United States, it's not the same, even though that they have the same ingredient, I don't know, maybe um, could be that the amount of ingredient that they put, maybe it's not the right one, I don't know, but there is something, and, I, and I'm going to give you another example to all of you. 
If you have a uh, travel to the United States and suddenly you have some relative and ask you for pollo campero, you buy pollo campero here just in the airport and you take it with you to then. And one day I was driving in uh, I stay and suddenly I saw a pollo campero there. And I told to my, to my family, my relative there, hey, I don't know why you are asking me to bring pollo campero if you have one here. And they say, no, but if you taste it, you are not going to eat it because it doesn't taste the same. I don't know if you got my point. Maybe it, um, talking about Papa John's pizza again. Okay. Uh, maybe the different process make the change. Okay, could be. But if you eat pizza in Ecuador, in Colombia, in Panama, mm -hmm. in um, maybe in Guatemala, eat the same pizza like El Salvador. Because it's the same ingredient, say formula to make the, the dough pizza. But in Costa Rica, it's a different process because they don't admit uh, import cheese from USA. Ah, uh, yes, they, but they have there. Yeah, they use one local cheese, okay. mozzarella. Okay. So. The pizza, the, 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 Costa flavor, Rica, the flavor is different. It's different. The, oh, okay. the appearance is different too because when you see one pizza in Costa Rica, it's really, it's very uh, grasosa. Okay. I don't know what I can say, grasosa. But could be, could be fatted. Fatted. <laughs> you, you, you can see the pizza fatted because the mozzarella cheese is different. It has more grasa. Okay. But in the United States, maybe the process is different. Yes, of course. Of course it is. Okay, I don't know. Somebody else want to say something about this? Let me the time that we have. Okay. Well, we are going to make an step maybe right here because we need to make another activity. But I need that you speak a little bit about this topic because it's really important that you understand it. Okay, I'm going to read this. The best way to test if it is better than the one you use is to use the concept of sequential magnetic circuit design. This will help you identify the difference between the two products. Also, you will understand if the new recipe will be accepted in the market or not. As a result, you will lower the risk of adopting a new recipe that may not succeed in the market. I consider that this concept is really clear. I don't know if somebody wants to read it in order to practice. Alguien que no haya participado que quiera leerlo para que practique. And I'm going to help you if you have problem with some words. Me teacher, Wendy. Wendy, Wendy. The best way to test if, if it is better than the one you use is to use the concept of sequential monadic sur survey design. This will help you identify the difference between the two products. Also, you will understand if the new receipt will be accepted in the market or not. Okay, hold on there. Re recipe will, accept recipe it. will be accepted. Okay. Recipe will be accepted. Recipe. The, recipe. 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 The new re recipe okay. will be a, the new recipe 
will be accepted in the market or not. As a result, it will lower, lower okay, the yeah. risk of adopting a new re recipe that may not succeed in the market. That may not succeed in the market, okay? Succeed in the market. Okay, okay. thank you. Most of the time. Do you remember that we also talk about blind tests in the seventh one? Do you remember that? ¿Se recuerdan que también hablamos del blind test? Yes or not? Yes. Yes. Okay, blind yes. test. Blind testing is a way to consumer test product or packages whereby consumers are unaware of the underlying brand, which they are evaluating. The idea is to focus on the intrinsic characteristic. Dame. Dame. Okay, microphone please. <coughs> microphone please. The idea is to focus on the intrinsic product characteristic so that the direction for R and D product developed can be clear, delivered. Don't worry about this acronym because it's talking about a brand, okay? The opposite of blind testing would be branded testing. The opposite of blind testing would be branded testing. We also talk about this. There is currently a debate in the technical consumer science community, whether testing product is context is more relevant and realistic than blind testing. Still, when testing branded, basically the result is driven by the brand image and the product characteristic in combination. Only when running blind testing, the effect of the product characteristic can be measured. Therefore, the combination of blind and branded testing is best. What do you remember about blind testing and branded testing? Tell me. What do you remember? What do you remember? We already studied in our book, okay? Teacher, this case is when I uh, testing a new product. Okay. What else? Do you remember the concept of blind, blind test? Product are test and branded. So the consumer focuses strictly on the product characteristic and not on the brand name. Is that clear? Yes. No matter it's the brand. Teacher. Okay, no matter the brand. And what about branding tests? What is that? Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. If you need to buy an stereo to your car, you are going to look, maybe you say, okay, I need to buy a Sony because the Sony got better sound. But somebody is going to say, no, what I need to buy is a Pioneer. I don't know if you are following me with the example that I'm giving you. Or, yes, in you, or in your case, if you want to buy a new TV, you have some ideas and you say, okay, I need a Sony Bio. And even we can find it in computer too. But somebody said, no, I need a Samsung. But when you test something in the blind test, you don't care about branch. You just take care about another feature. Imagine that you need to buy a, a new cell phone and you say, okay, 
I'm not going to look brand. I'm going to look characteristic. And I need that the camera have, and you say the number of pixels that you need, and something else, all depend on uh, how you are going to use the cell phone that you need to buy. And suddenly I have heard that there is some, uh, some cell phone. I don't remember them, and maybe you know, but I guess that they are Koreans. I don't know the branch. Ciao. Uh, Xiaomi. Ah, okay, okay. And some people <laughs> said that uh, that are really good, and they say that are uh, better maybe than, than, than this one, but I, I never have tried it. I don't know what do you think about that. And I like that you react suddenly when I said something about that. And even I, I have heard that uh, it doesn't have problem with the screen that can fall down and, and it doesn't break it. Is that true? What do you know about that? Has to be the quality. Hello. Teacher. Hello. I have a Xiaomi. Okay. And well, what is the right way to it pronounce is... it? Xiaomi or Xiaomi? Mm, I think Xiaomi. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, it's the best cell phone I have. Have. I have tenido. I have. I have a has. Okay. Sí, sí. But I have had. Que yo haya tenido. Okay. Tell me okay. the characteristic, the feature. Um, he has. Uh, it has. Okay. It has a, a very, very. ¿Cómo se dice buena? Cámara. A nice camera. A nice excellent camera. Ca an excellent, an excellent camera. camera. Yes, yes. Um, the, the screen is uh, colored. And the sound is really, really, really fine. Okay. The resolution is really good. The resolution of a screen is really good. Okay, what about price? The price is more um, comparative and superlative. Menor, menor. Comparative and superlative, sir. Do you remember that? Uh, no me acuerdo cómo es que se decía menor. <laughs> Okay, it is less expensive. Less expensive, eso. Okay. <laughs> Try to keep in mind. Somebody else uh, have a Xiaomi phone? Me teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> that yeah, that, that I'm, I'm not going to talk uh, anything bad about Xiaomi because maybe you are going to get <laughs> up with me. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on a second. Uh, Look in the time, I need that. Uh, of course, I know that maybe Yesenia want to tell us something, but uh, you are going to have time to tell me something. But uh, do you remember that in the material we have an exercise we need to solve, taking into account all the aspects that we have talked? Of course, that uh, we have missed some tests, but you already have a general idea about this. I'm talking about the exercise that we got in the books. Let me tell you the page that I told you that we uh, had the time to develop. And I'm talking about the seventh one that you are going to work in group. I'm going to come it. Let me see. You are, are 18 now. Okay. And you are going to retain the new product idea you group present in unit one. I don't know if you remember. That some of you showed me something and asked me to uh, enable to share your screen. And you are going to discuss two testing strategies to fit the characteristic of the product. And you are going to brainstorm the advantages of testing the product using the strategies 
the group have selected, you are going to select uh, the kind of set that you are going to use. And at the same time, you are going to design the best strategy to test the new product. And you are going to tell me, okay, we are going to use that test, this test because we consider this and so on. We have 15 minutes to do it. Uh, let us try the, to do it in 10 minutes. Let me see how many of you are going to be in every team. If I got a team, uh, let me see. Let me see how many of you are going to be in a team in order that you can talk. Do you remember that, that you were working on, on that? Yes? No? Hello? No, teacher. No, se, no se recuerda. Yes. <laughs> ah. and, and the swap, yes, swap analysis. Uh -huh. And the swap analysis, you start working in a product and only two teams, solo dos equipos, compartieron pantalla y nos demostraron lo que habían hecho. Y quedamos que el resto lo iba a hacer después. And I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Do you remember that? Yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Ok, make a screenshot now, please. Hagamos una captura para poder... Eh, Saber sobre lo que vamos a hacer a la cuenta de one, two, three. Okay. I guess that you already have it. Do you mind if I stop chatting? Hello. I ask you a question. Do you mind if I stop chatting my screen? Yes, I got it. You can put this up. Ok, este tipo de preguntas lo vieron en el módulo 4 o 3. Do you mind if I stop sharing my screen? Do you mind if I open the window? Do you mind if I open the door? Do you remember that? ¿Se yes, recuerdan? I do. Ah, yes. and, what, and what is the way how we are going to answer those questions? Yes, yes, I do. No, I don't. Mm, mm, okay, we are going to talk later on about that, okay? I'm going to create six group of three. It's okay for you to work three? Porque si les pongo más de tres, creo que no vamos a trabajar todos. Do you remember how many of you were integrated in a group at the beginning? Three. Three, I guess. Three. It's going to be difficult for me to put it together at the, like at the beginning. Será muy difícil ponerlo juntos así como al inicio. Así es que I'm going to create it and try to share what you have. Uh, eh, pero necesito que tengan claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Necesitamos eh, como crear un producto nuevo y ahí están las instrucciones. Veamos qué podemos hacer. Ay, I no. remember my team. <laughs> you remember your team? Yes. Oh my God. How can I do it now that you can yes, get it with them? ¿Cómo puedo hacer para que todos quedaran con la persona que estuvieron antes? Me llevaría mucho tiempo estarlos ordenando, ¿cierto? Yo estaba con Laura, teacher. Ok. Ok, share your idea with somebody else, ok? I'm going to let you do it now. But let me see, I'm seeing here that uh, in some group I got, ok. Here we go. Try to do what you can do, ok? Don't worry about it. I'm going to give you like five minutes in order that you can talk about it. If you can write down something and then you can share your screen, it's gonna be better. Okay, here we go. So please go to your room, go to your room.
go to your room, please, and just start talking about and writing down your ideas. I know the time is flying. Yo sé que el tiempo está volando. But let us try to do something, okay? Wendy, 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 somebody's waiting for you. Okay, thank you. And in this moment, all, all the participants are working in the task. We need to wait for them in order to see what they have done, okay? What they are going to do, okay? Just hold on a second and wait for them.
Teacher, need more time. <laughs> I know that you need more time, but yes, uh, you can have some ideas about the five minutes. Say different people thinking about. Teacher. Hello? Uh, no, nada, teacher. <laughs> Tell me, Laura. Nothing, teacher. <laughs> Ajá, el que solo, ¿cómo es el dicho? El que solo se ríe de, de qué dice? <laughs> no, teacher. Y, eh, for Thai, more Thai. <laughs> ah, more Thai. Eh, eh, no, no, no alcanzamos a hacerla, a desarrollar la idea. Ah, ok. El que solo se ríe de sus maldades se acuerda. Ahí ¿no? está, ahí está. Es el saying, Salvadorian saying, ok. Ahí está. Ok, I don't know if somebody, a team got some ideas that can share it. Carlos Alberto, Carlos Alberto en mí uh thoughts about create a yogurt okay okay hold on we are you are going to share with us y lo voy a decir en español y el resto lo va a compartir tomorrow at the beginning of the class okay no vayan a decir que se me ha olvidado porque lo voy a dejar hasta anotado aquí i'm going to write it down here that means that what I mean is that all of you participate. And also, I need to tell you this because we are so close to finish. I need to see the person that is going to be with me today. Let me see who is it. Dejen me ver quién es. Porque algunas veces se me hacen así los desentendidos. No, 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 no. Oí que me dijo. No, oí. Ok, José Jonathan Vigil. Are you there, Jonathan? Jonathan, are you there? I don't see you there. Let me see. Where is it? Jonathan, Jonathan. He's not here. I don't see it. Bueno, pero ya lo llamamos. Ok, uh, Galileo, share us in a brief way, en una forma corta, because of the time, ok? Yeah. Ok. The, the, the product is a yogurt. The method is a, a monadic method because the client don't see a, a brand. Okay, okay. Yeah, just only see the product. Okay, excellent. The, the customer can see and can handle the product. Okay, excellent. Okay, that's it. Somebody else, somebody else. We have two minutes. The teacher and the group. Okay, Misael. Um, we were discussing about one product and we chose uh, dog food. Okay. And we choose two strategies, pair comparison test and brand test. And between those strategies, we choose pair comparison test because it has the advantage to the customer. Okay. That can let the dog taste and smell the product. Okay. Excellent. Okay, the rest is gonna be for tomorrow, okay? Pero mañana no quiero que se me hagan los desentendidos y se van a quedar así. Ok. Let me check out the attendance. I don't know. Any comment at the end of the class? I'm waiting. Let us evaluate the, the session. Hagamos una evaluación así rapidita de la sesión.
two or three people can tell me something about the class of today. What, what we can improve, uh, something that I need to switch in order that you can understand better or something. And another thing is this, that I give you to all of you the, the opportunity to speak, the opportunity to participate. But if you don't want to do it, no quiero que después vayan a decir, no, solo los mismos hablan, eh, que solo hablan no sé quién, que no, que a mí no me da oportunidad. Se lo digo en español, todos tienen la misma oportunidad, que no la aprovechemos es otra cosa. ¿Sí? Entre más hablas, más aprendes. But talking about the language, ¿ok? That's not mean that you are going to gossip a lot. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the class. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Okay. Three volunteers who tell me and make an evaluation on the classes today. Nadie quiere decir nada. Okay. Entonces, In Spanish. Entonces no le gustó. Oh, pues. I'm disappointed. Hey, teacher, but oh, okay, I, sir. I, I, I talk every time, so I thought you prefer other partners, <laughs> but I, I can say something. Okay. Uh, I like this class because you speak in English 90% of class and I I think that is really cool uh, because if we practice here and and speak English, we we will learn and we will um, reach this goal. Okay, thank you. Well, in my case, I consider that. I do it in maybe in a, a 95 cents because I try to speak a little bit Spanish. Suddenly, maybe when you hesitate about something or you don't have a clear idea about what I'm trying to tell you. And even though sometimes I try to speak in a slowly way because I used to speak in a fast way. Like I used to work in a call center, you know, and in that way, sometimes I need to speak in a fast way when I'm attending client, hello, may I help you? What can I do for you? And something like that. But I, I, I know that this is an intermediate level and, I, and I'm in the way that you are in order that you can yeah, understand it, what it, I'm saying. In my, in my case, I prefer to speak so fast because that is the way we, we can learn. Yes, of course, but, some, uh, but also I think uh, about all of you that there are some of you that maybe have some, some uh, kind of problem. And I'm trying to be in a way that not affect anyone, you know? And that all of you can feel really good. Okay, thank you, Galileo. Okay, somebody else. And I'm going to call by your name, the list. Somebody else, somebody hey, else. Teacher. I understand better this thing. Um, I consider uh, it's important and we will remember classes, previous classes. Okay. Um, we, connect, my... we connect previous classes with, with the new one. Okay. Okay. I got your point. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, now if I'm going to call by your name, I know that you are kind of sleepy and you say, que no termina este señor, yo me quiero ir a dormir. O, no, o nadie dice eso. Hungry teacher. Ah, ya apareció. <laughs> Hungry teacher. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Car Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Claudia Recao. Present. Francis. Francis. No está hoy. Galileo is there. Okay. Present. Jonathan. 
Jonathan. A Jonathan le correspondía el 1 a 1 el día de hoy. No está. Y somebody else have, uh, has a, a question about some topic and stay at the end of the class, ¿ok? José Rodrigo. Gracias, teacher. Ahí está Rodrigo, me faltaba la asistencia de él. Eh, Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Gracias, teacher. Ahí está Laura. Y ustedes dijeron de que no había venido. Y ahí está. De... Lorena Beatriz. No apareció Never. Ok, María. Concepción. María, María Elena. Mayra. Mayra Veraliz. No. Miguel Ángel ya no apareció también. Zaira. Present teacher. Eh, Santos. Present teacher. Um, Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Eh, Tenia. Diego. Present teacher. Diego. I'm here, teacher. And Brian. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. I have to see you tomorrow. God bless you. And have a good and excellent night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, good night. Night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Bye. God bless you too. Bye. Good night. Bye. Question. Anybody Bye. have any question? Okay. Pero deja pruebas que yo les dije que si querían preguntar algo. Okay. <laughs> Ahí queda grabado en el video. Okay. A la persona que le correspondía los 10 minutos no está. Así es que. If you have any questions, Claudia, you can ask me. Brian, you can ask me. Uh -huh. You can tell uh, me. Uh, I just want okay. with the homework and the platform. Okay, Claudia. I do the 2.2. Okay, talking about 2.2. Okay, what uh -huh. is what's the matter with 2.2? And in the second part it says, well, choose the verb from the galleries with the subject. And those are in the book. Are the uh -huh. same. Okay. But the three, no, the answer is not what we saw in the class. Really? Uh huh. This a number of customers. It will be are satisfied with the performance of the new mob. Mm -hmm. But good are and and put me incorrect. And if you choose is uh, because say a number, a number of. Uh huh. If si me pone well. Ah. Okay. Uh huh. You you need you need to be careful when you see maybe sometime uh the sentences tend to be the same but they are not the same they switch. Maybe in a letter. And we say, no, okay. it is the same. And we got uh, this answer. And why right here is not the same? We need to be careful about okay. that, okay? Okay. Que, que conste que no le di la respuesta. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I just I told you an idea. Okay, it's okay. Bye. Okay. That's all. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Okay. To ask Bye. Me. Okay, good night for you. Good night. Okay, see you.